Oh, it's huge. Hey, this is small. This is small. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Ew, mom. You know there's another one, right? Yes, oh, I've already taken off two. Do you, no, do you see it? It's right here. Okay, I'll get it. Right there. Look at the damage they do. That's a small one. Ew. I've gotten, I've gotten ones this big. Ew, gross. Gross. Hey everyone, Janie here, welcome back. It is another very, very hot day today and we decided to take the day, it's Sunday, take the day and head up to my parents' house in Reading. They live about two hours away, but they have a gorgeous pool. So we thought, why not? I also needed to bring my mom these Vigo Garden solar lights for her Vigo Garden beds right here that I gave her. And um, I've been meaning to bring these for her for a while now, but they've been on a whole bunch of trips um, so this is really the first time that we've had to get back here. Now, when we first came, uh, I have to show you these Vigo beds. Let me turn the camera around. So here's my mom's greenhouse. We're over on the side of her house, the north side of her house. And I got her these, um, I think they're the nine in one Vigo beds and they're the extra tall ones and they're the olive green, just like I have. And she wanted them because it would be really narrow to fit on this concrete pad that her greenhouse is on. And she's right. It's perfect right here. Now, so she's been on a trip. She actually went to Indiana to see my other sister and she came home and these hornworms have completely completely decimated these tomatoes that she has here. You can see all the damage that they've done. It's, she's so upset. It's so funny because one of my earliest memories of gardening is being in my childhood home and picking hornworms off of my mom's tomato plants and putting them in paper bags. Like it, it's one of those memories that are like solidified in my mind. So seeing my mom pick hornworms off more of her tomato plants is just too funny. So she's upset. These aren't working well. And then one other thing I have to show you is underneath this tomato plant. I don't want to get too close. There is a mama quail with her baby bird, with her eggs. Ooh, let's see if you can see it. Oh, I feel like you can't see it. Here, right there. Okay, I'm way zoomed in. Do you see the feathers right there? I can't, I can't get a good shot of her head. I don't want to scare her. Okay, so I'm backed up now, just kind of sitting in the shade looking at the Vigo beds. So the way that we figured out what size Vigo beds to get for this area is you want to measure first. You want to measure the the width and then you want to measure the length. So this was about 13 feet long and then it was about two feet wide. And so we decided to do two of them, two two feet by six feet. This is six feet and this is two feet. And so you go onto the Vigo website and you look at the pictures and they will have these diagrams that show the different ways that you can assemble the beds, whether it's the nine in one bed, the 10 in one bed, you know, the, I think there's a four in one bed, all that kind of stuff. And so what I did is I just looked on the diagrams and I looked to find the two by six, which is what she needed for this space. And then I knew which one to get for her. And then of course, we love the extra tall ones. You can get them in shorter lengths, but we definitely really like the extra tall ones. Then when it comes to these lights, I love these lights. So this one is the pack of four and they're really easy. You can see they, they're magnetic and they just snap onto the corrugated metal of the Vigo beds. They're great. So I have these on mine. Every night they turn on, I don't have to worry about it. And if you want to, there's a button to turn them off and turn them on, um, but it just makes it so that's really easy. So they wrap it up like this. We'll do a little unboxing. Okay, and there they are. So you just turn it around, turn them on, and then it obviously it needs to charge, but they're so easy. So even with the mama quail there, takes two seconds. Done. I'm going to put the other three on that I have for her. All right. 
all done there. They look really good. That was easy. I bet the mama quail's happy that I wasn't messing around over here for too long. So yeah, so lots of vegetables here, <laughs> some peppers, bunch of tomatoes. Uh, I think that's a cucumber over there. I'm not totally sure. Not looking so hot. My mom <laughs> was, she was not very happy. So she can't, like I said, she came home from a trip just a couple days ago and it ended up looking like this and you know, and then, and then she didn't mess with it because of the quail. So it's all right. It happens. But the Vigo beds look good and the lights look good. So for those of you who don't know, Vigo Garden Beds is a modular raised bed company. Um, they have these beautiful raised metal garden beds that I love. I wanted to get some and so um, they they offered to send me some. So they sent me the four that I have in my garden with the arches and they're so beautiful. I'm obsessed with them. I'm so happy that I have them. Um, it was actually Michael Glassman's idea to get them and use them in that spot because it kind of matched matched my, uh, my metal workshop. And so then I started working with Vigo Garden. I do have an affiliate link down below. So if you do want to buy one, please use my link. And then my family and friends have all been asking <laughs> if I could get a bed for them. So I got two for my mom. Um, and then I got some for my uncle and he lives closer to the coast, closer by, um, uh, Fanula, Cottage Gardens of Petaluma, and uh, I'm going to do a garden tour in August of his garden. I'm excited to show you all that. He's very veggie heavy, but then also my aunt likes to do some of the flowers as well. So that'll be a fun garden tour to show you all and show you all the Vigo beds. Um, but while we're up here, the girls are super excited to get in the pool, uh, but my mom agreed to let us do a little bit of a garden tour at her garden. Uh, I think she would appreciate it if I told you all that she did just get back from vacation, so she thinks her garden is not up to par but I think it's absolutely beautiful. Hi, Mom. Hi. How's it going? Good. Where were you for the past three months? Mm. <laughs> All oh. over the place, All huh? Over the, yeah. <laughs> this is the first time we've been up this summer. I know. Well, nice to see you. Good. I'm glad you're here. Your garden looks nice. Thank you. Even though you think it doesn't, but I think it looks beautiful. Well, yeah. It looks beautiful. Okay. So for those of you who don't know, my parents moved here... Four years ago? Uh, 2019. Say? So four years. Was that four? Yeah. Ish. Almost five. Almost five. Yeah. And they started with the house. The house has been completely rebuilt and then and then started on the garden. And the garden, so the, I guess, I mean, I guess we can't really say the garden's relatively new anymore because it's not really. Not really. Right? But we started from scratch. Yeah. From just a blank slate. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. looking gorgeous. And it's, and it's been an experiment. Yeah. yeah, and a challenge because of the weather. Yeah, so. so you can see they live up on the top of a hill. We're in Redding, California. And then there's uh, some hot, dry wind that comes up here. That's your, your biggest issue, right? Right. Yeah, but look at their pool. Look at it, it's so nice. That's what we're gonna do today. Yeah, it's a pool day today for sure. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to start off showing off these garden beds because yours truly planted up these garden beds. Well, half of these garden beds. My mom has obviously replaced some of the annuals. I, pl I planted these up last year. I planted them up with the Little Henry Sweet Spire and then the Hibiscus. But the reason why I planted these, this was kind of a, a solving an issue garden bed because they have this grass on either side and my dad runs the sprinklers and this whole area gets pretty boggy. So we had to have something for full sun and something that could handle some pretty wet conditions. And these look like they're doing great. So looks like you got some pink cashmere superbina, that's beautiful. Super tunia bordeaux, uh, white, whirlwind white scavola, some heliotrope, my favorite, and then the fuchsia salva, rock and fuchsia salvia. That's rock and fuchsia. Yeah. Do you know, I was just cashmere. At a, yeah. I was at a garden tour and this rock and fuchsia salvia was like four feet tall. Really? It's going to get huge. Well, that would be wonderful. Right? That'd be beautiful. So then over here, kind of the same thing, right? Just a repeat. But I do, I do, um, I planted a whirlwind pink mm -hmm. right here, mm -hmm. which didn't survive, oh, which no. I think it's getting too much water. Too much water. It's just, that doesn't like that much That's water. the biggest, yeah, that's the biggest problem in these yeah. garden beds is, is they look out in the sun and, you know, um, like, there, it, like the sun is going to be the issue, especially next to the concrete, but it's actually too much water just because it's right next to the grass. Can you smell that? Does that have a scent to you? Do you not smell it? No, I can't. Oh my gosh. No, but this one is the marine, I think. 
and then I just planted another one of the proven winners, a, a very trail. small. Yeah. Can you smell that? Yep. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's so funny. We were just talking about how, um, like, I can't spell, smell Verbena de la Mina. Did uh -huh. you watch that video? Yeah. And then Jason can smell it and loves how it smells. That's crazy. I yeah. can't smell that. You can't smell heliotrope? No. That's so sad. I know. That's really sad. But I, I was going to try different varieties to see if I could... Try the Fragrant Delight, because that's my favorite one. The Fragrant Delight. Yeah. Okay. And it gets the biggest. Okay. This... Oh my gosh, Mom. You like that? This looks so good. This is the prettiest part of your garden right now, for sure. Okay. okay, can you walk us through? Okay, one sec. So you have this variegated lavender. So this here has been planted for what? This is the third year, right? Um, probably the fourth. Fourth year. So a lot of these perennials have had time to kind of settle in and grow really big, and they just look absolutely incredible. So this is variegated lavender, right? It's called, um, it's called her. mint julep. <laughs> what, is, <laughs> what is it called? Mint julep lavender. Mint julep lavender. It's pretty. It's so interesting. And then this is lantana, yeah. but, but land berry. Uh, this, that one, I have different types here. They're lantana bandanas. Oh, yeah. And some are rose, some are cherry. It really it's depends. It's so pretty. Yeah. It's so pretty. And then you have a Chinese fringe flower back there. Right. And, and then I've planted some gladiolis are coming up. Mm -hmm. And then I also planted some zinnias in there. And a couple got dug up. By what? Uh, we've been having problems with moles and gophers and squirrels. Did and... you hear I have a gopher? Yes, I feel so bad for you. So it, frustrating. They are the bane of my existence. I know. It's Ugh. so frustrating. It is, and I we're trying everything. Yeah. They're, as you can see, already starting to tear up the lawn. <gasps> oh, that's gopher? Um, well, that's called a gopher stick. Oh, we got one of those. We haven't yeah. used it yet. I'm not sure it really works very well. Um. Someone told me it works great. Good. I don't know. Well, we'll let me it. know. Yeah. And then this, I put some um, gonfrina in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That'll start growing really fast. Fine. This combination right here is really good. Isn't it pretty? Is that jazzberry? Yes, it is. So that's Super Tunia Vista jazzberry. That's going to get huge. And then with the lantana band... Isn't it a nice mix? I never can say that right. Lantana bandana. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. And then the, bu the butterfly bush. This is Pugster. Uh, that is the lo and behold blue chip. Wow. Yeah, isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. And that's the Puckster paint. I know. That's that's the prettiest one. Isn't this pretty? Right here. And you know, a lot of people ask me about these grasses. Mm. What are yeah, they? they're really pretty. Um, I think that is called... <laughs> no, you can't <laughs> see. <laughs> I think it's called Harden. Harden? Wait, wait. I'll get it. I'll get it right. I'll find it. It's... Okay. I'll put it on the screen. Yeah. Oh, is this your bellflower from last year? Yeah, it is. Wow. Isn't it pretty? The That's... other one looks really beautiful too. How, this overwintered. You had this here last year. Yeah, it did overwinter. Wow. That's Look, so pretty. did you see that one over there? It's gorgeous. What? Oh yeah. And okay. then there's some royal velvet petunia in there. Is that the one you stole from me? No, I'll show you the one I stole from you. Uh -huh. You're not going to be happy. <laughs> Why, did you kill it? No. <laughs> What happened? I accidentally took it. It's next year's variety. Oh, yeah, I know. I you saw, saw it. That. Yeah. <laughs> mom, mom stole some 2025s from Proven Winners. I didn't know they were 2025s. <laughs> Bad mom. Proven Winners is going to be mad at you. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. I wasn't there. No, well, they weren't in bloom, so I had, you know, not a clue. <laughs> what? Which uh, butterfly bushes are these? I think those are called purple haze. Yeah. Pretty. Those are looking so good. Yeah. You need a trellis right here. We did. Did you see the trellis that we put up for the Eden Rose? Yeah. We just got another one. For here? Yeah. And then what are you going to climb on here? Well, we don't know yet. A um, Hmm? A bougainvillea. Well, we thought about that. The only, um, it would probably in the winter stay warm enough mm -hmm. against this wall. Mm -hmm. 
So because this is south facing. Because I planted another bougainvillea over on the north side, and it was absolutely gorgeous. And then the winter came, and it got it. It just yeah. killed it. Yeah. Oh, mom, this garden bed looks so good. Thank you. It's taken a while to fill in, but now that it's filled yeah. in, it's really beautiful. Yeah. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. And then over here, this is looking good. Well, we took, remember it was just a circle oh, you're around right. the tree. We took it out. Oh, I like that. And so Wait, we, so let's let's say there used to be just one circle right. around this little gem magnolia. And then the lawn went around. And the grass the went behind it. Why'd you guys take it out? Because it was so hard to maintain or to water. Oh. And it kept dying on us. Yeah. So we just decided we're gonna pull it out. Yeah. I can and see I'm that. gonna put my roses out here. Oh yeah, that'll be beautiful. Yeah. Is this so, a Miss Molly? Yes, it is. Wow. This looks so good. Look, I planted these three at the same time. Oh, what? Yes. So, but I just, if you'll see, I had put extra water on this one. Okay. So I'm going to, and, but I just put extra water on these. Okay, so Miss so, Molly needs some water to get established. Sure, she sure does. And then these are <laughs> autumn, blaze sure <laughs> my mom and i always go back and forth between we, flame and, and blaze. it's either autumn flame or autumn blaze yeah. i'm pretty sure it's blaze yeah. we literally go back and forth every every year look at the look at you can see but you can probably hear the wind right now they definitely get a breeze here which is nice on super hot days but wind and heat Dry wind and heat for plants is Hot, dry wind. It's really, really it's tough. It's very destructive. Yeah, it's right. probably the hardest. But I think it's all looking really great. Really good. Thank what you. are are these um Lomandra? Yes. Pretty. And I lost one so I just replaced it. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah. I had a watering issue. Yeah. Yeah, these look great. And then these baskets. So this is one of the things, this is one of the reasons why I love whirlwind blue scavola, because my mom plants whirlwind blue scavola in these pots right on the, on the side of her pool. And of course it gets the hot dry wind and the whirlwind blues always can handle it. You can always see that they're blooming a lot over on the wind side and they can completely handle it. So that's one of the reasons why I love that annual and I always talk about it because I just think it can handle the heat really, really well. And not only that, they do so well in pots. In pots. You know, it's hard to yeah. keep plants alive in pots in this kind of environment. And so they can just handle it. They handle it. That's great. Okay, coming over here. Tell everybody what you did with the hanging basket I gave you. Well, you gave me one of the hanging baskets from the event. The park winner's event. Yes. And so I just did the water method and removed, you know, took the whole thing out of the basket. Uh -huh. Separated the roots very carefully and I've just planted them. They look good. Yeah, they're, they're going to fill out. They're starting ton. to take hold. Look at this one. Super being a white owl. Uh huh. That was in the basket. Isn't that just beautiful? It's just about to take off. Just... And then I have a, a, I had an extra hoopla. Okay. And this is what is crazy because I put this petunia in here thinking it would take over. Mm -hmm. And look at the whirlwind. The whirlwind just I took know. off. It's just such a good plant for you. It is. And it then is. last year I planted these three vertigo Two penis. years ago. Two years ago. I planted yeah. these three vertigo penicetums, so they're going to get really big, and it kind of just um, gives the area some height once they start growing. You'll see they'll, they'll get about eight feet tall. Well, actually, they don't. They're pretty stunted here. So with the heat and the soil and the hard pan. Do you give them enough water? I try. You have to like... But I like the height they get to. They get to about four feet. No. They did last year. They got to four feet. You got to give them more water. But they were beautiful. All right. Give them more water. I don't water. want monsters. Yes. <laughs> you do. It'd be so beautiful. Oh, look. There's the quail. Is that the mama? It might be. I wonder. We should check and see if she's off the eggs. Huh. Maybe she's yelling at us. Yes. What is this again? This tree? That is a pistache. Chinese pistache? Yes. Pretty. And you can see that we're on hard pan because this is about five years old. No! Yes. Oh, that's a bummer. Yes, we, it's, I, it's underneath it is rock. And we've just been adding layers and layers of 
compost compost and we're hoping that it'll eventually break down a little bit yeah we'll see so when you built this house it was on a hill and they cut into the hill yes, they did to make it flat but by doing that they cut into some pretty yeah it's pretty rocky here pretty rocky pretty bad. yeah and then i just planted this lilac there i'm not sure that's going to make it but it gets dappled shade that one right there uh -huh, it's called baby kim hmm We'll see. Did you plant that because of Kim? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> My sister's name is Kim. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So this, this is, is another garden bed that I planted. A little overgrown. Well, surprisingly, this I have already trimmed that honeysuckle twice this year. Wow. So that and honey, I mean, hacked it. That honeysuckle is so happy right there. Yeah. So you so, might want to take that out and put something smaller. Oh, well, I'm going to take it all the way down to, what, 12 inches? Can I do that? Yeah. yeah. And just let it start in again. Yeah. I mean, it'll start growing. Yeah. But you know. it's crazy. I mean, I'm, look at this. I'm constantly cutting runners off. Oh, man. It's just going crazy. So it's just really, really happy. Yeah. So this to tour I built, you can't even see it. Yeah. <laughs> but this is, this is the trellis that you were talking about. Yes. You're going to do another one. I actually really like this. Yes. Yes. Look at that rusted metal. Yeah, we just got another one. I'm going to actually get one more and I'll tell you where I'm going to put that. Where did you buy this from? Garden Supply. Gardener Supply? Yeah, Gardener Supply. Okay, Supplies. I'll try and link yeah. it down below, you guys. And then you have this standard, hydrangea uh -huh. standard. That's looking really good. Yeah, it's, it's happy there. Huge. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty happy there. Oh, and then is this Surefire White? Yes, it is. Oh, I love it. Doesn't look pretty? I love it. And so pretty. Yeah. And, and then here's a plant that we can't talk about that my mom stole from me <laughs> stole from my stash yes, it's so beautiful but it's very pretty i want a lot more for next year <laughs> i can um i think it's july 1st that we can start then you can start okay. we can start talking about it i can tell you guys the name i'm I sure you'll hear that, it from other people yeah. i'm sure you'll hear it yeah i'm actually going to um Bauman Farms in Oregon yeah. in August, and we're going to plant up a whole bunch of the new ones Are and you? do containers and oh, stuff like that because he's growing a whole bunch of the new fun. ones. Yeah, it'll be fun. Okay, Mom, this is beautiful. Thank you. I know I know you want it to look perfect, I know. but it I looks do. perfect. Everybody needs to write in the comments how good this looks because it looks amazing. Okay. <laughs> that make me feel better. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Because remember, you see all the bad parts of your garden, and I we do. see all the good parts of your garden. And you've been gone for like three months, I so know. I, I think know. it's looking really, really good. It Especially, held, it held up pretty well. Yeah, it right. Really did. Yeah. I mean, this is a good garden to kind of just leave, set yeah. on drip, and kind of not worry about it. So, right. except right. for the tomatoes. Yeah, the not tomatoes. The poor guys. <laughs> I know. There's nothing you can do about that. Right. All right, everyone. Well, mom, thank you for letting us come. Thanks for coming. See your garden. And I hope you enjoy those Vigo lights. I think they'll be perfect. Thank you. Yep. How are you liking the Vigo beds? I love the Vigo beds. They're great, huh? Yeah, even though the quail has taken over for now. Yeah, well. But once the babies are gone, I'll be in there. <laughs> all right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you all have a chance to get in your garden today.